guys, welcome to an Urban Viking Hour review. Um, I'm hoping I can get all this on in on time because my camera's in the red. Um, but I really want to get this one done. Uh, this is a viewer request. I can't remember who requested it. I don't know if it was that man JB or it might have been Barry. Um, I really can't remember but it's from a brewery that I really like. They make Exmoor Beast which is like one of my favourite beers. And um, it's the Exmoor Gold. Golden Ale. Um, so let's give you some info on this. Oh, that better not run out. Uh, okay. Did I even say hello and welcome? I can't even remember. Okay. The original golden owl. The original golden single malt owl, a natural, glorious golden colour. Its juicy malt aroma has just a hint of vanilla with citric hops. Okay, it's mostly taste notes. I'm not going to read that bit. Um, Exmoor Gold is brewed in the heart of Somerset using traditional methods and the finest natural ingredients. Uh, Exmoor Ales.co.uk. Um, there's no ingredients on here, but let's get cracking. I've got high hopes for this one because the Exmoor Beast was gorgeous, and um, I don't think they're going to scrimp on their other ales, so put it in the other ale mug. Let's get it about halfway from now. Um, Pour a bit of a head on that, but nice golden colour. Let's give it a nose. that froth. Oh that's nice, that is really nice. Um, like a sweet citrusy um, malty biscuit, really nice. Almost like a, there's a little bit of bubble gum in that as well, like a uh, like a really nice sugary bubble gum, uh, not too powerful, but a tiny bit of honey as well. Not a massive amount, but slight little lager taste, lager smell. Sorry as well, but it's a really nice, really nice and complex. I really like this. What else is that? Um, almost like a banana as well. Yeah, definitely a banana. Uh, like a toffee banana or something like that. Like a banana split. Um, right. Cheers. Let's go. Mmm. That's nice, that's really nice. Um, getting a lot of um, like a wheaty um, sweetness at the beginning. Um, very, very refreshing. Um, the wheaty sweetness is followed by almost like a, a slightly bitter lager flavour, um, which then ends in a, a very subtle, sort of smooth, malty linger on the finish. What is that? How many? Five percent. That's really refreshing. Really nice. Mmm. Getting a nice um, like a crackery um dried biscuit flavour on that as well. Um. But I really like that bitterness. That bitterness is really nice. Um, it, it fits so well, and it just—it's um, quite sharp as well. Um, and it sort of um, sits on the edge of your tongue like little blades, uh, blades of bitterness. It's just like, mm, and it's just really refreshing. <clears throat> I bet this is really nice on tap. Getting a bit of lemon in that as well. Um, not very sweet, but um, more for the, like the peel. Um, this would be a really nice um, 
a nice summer beer as well. Um, just sitting in the garden. Definitely one for the lager drinkers as well to, you know, turn them away from the crap on the shelves. Really good. So overall, excuse me, it's quite carbonated. Let's give you an overall taste. Right, initial taste is smooth, wheaty. Then you're getting the citrus coming through, uh, like a bit of lemon. Then you're getting like the, the lager pilsnery sort of taste, which follows on and turns into this sort of bitterness, which um, sharply sits on the edges of your tongue. And then, um, and then it fades, and it's really, really smooth, and it's really, really nice. Um, and that's basically all you want in a beer. Um, so, Exmoor Gold, the original Golden Ale. Um, I get a bit confused with Golden Ale, because I always automatically assume that they're going to taste of honey, and that's not the case. Um, so, anyway, Exmoor Golden Ale is going to get an 8 out of 10 from me. 8 out of 10. Lovely, really refreshing. Definitely one I'm going to be buying again. Um, I can just have that sitting in the fridge and then just cracking it and just chilling out and enjoying it. And that's really what beer is about. Um, you don't want fancy pants, major hoppage or, you know, unique quirky flavours all the time. They're very nice every now and again. You know, if you want to try something and experience something different. But when you want a good, solid, honest lovely beer you know this is the sort of stuff you want to go for um, you know sitting down watching a movie out of your friends having a barbecue in the garden wherever get it and it's and it's pretty cheap as well lovely happy with that cheers yeah.